the next time that you get a break, that you get a chance to slow down and get outside and go for a walk, try looking for things that you've never noticed before. Look for colors and the way they interact with one another. Look for textures, rough and smooth. Look for all of the ways that light plays while it dances on the surface of water or warms all that it touches. And notice how the shadows tend to cool. They always crisply define everything that they outline. Beauty is everywhere. Sometimes it's a special moment in an unremarkable place. Sometimes it's the place itself that makes the memory special. Either way, the beauty of nature is meant to be enjoyed. It's intended to be seen. If you'll take the time to listen, it's communicating the greatness of its designer. And for some, especially for me, nature's beauty is meant to be captured. And that's where painting comes in. I have this drive to try and capture my experiences in nature. I have incredible memories that I would love to hold on to forever. An encounter with a moose, massive shadowy creatures that tend to be very secretive and are rarely seen. How do you capture the playfulness and personality of a chipmunk? How do you capture the way that light dances on the surface of the water? How do you capture that feeling you get when you look up and catch the majestic flyby of a bald eagle in front of the backdrop of towering stone cliffs? How do you capture the feeling you get when sharing an afternoon snack with your boys and a small herd of snow white mountain goats in an alpine meadow at almost 11,000 feet? These are special memories, and I want to capture them all. I want to hold on to them so I don't forget the joy. I love being out in nature. I can feel the stress of life fade away as I navigate a hiking trail, with my dog Chessie always up for exploring new places. And I especially love to share the chase of adventure with my two boys. So the challenge of painting for me the thing that keeps me coming back to the easel again and again. The thing that drives me to learn new techniques and to practice is a desire to capture how I feel in those moments out in the woods. Maybe it's a moment on the side of a mountain. Maybe it's a moment when I came face to face with an animal that I've never met before and will never meet again. And I stand there wondering what brought her to that place and where her path might take her from there. Which leads me to wondering where my path might take me from there. I know I'll never capture these feelings, these experiences in full. Oils, pigments, canvas and brushes they can't replicate them perfectly. But the journey is to try. And it's a journey worth taking. As a wise wizard from Middle Earth once said, not all who wander are lost.